Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use the protractors to actually uh, measure an angle um, that's already been bent, um, that's in your in your vehicle already or uh, just set up and you wanna reproduce the angle for some reason. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do this angle right up here. Um, it's got, uh, it's gonna be less than 180 degrees, so you're gonna, you're gonna stay on this zero to 90 side right here. Um, we're going to, we're going to start out, let's uh, we'll start out with guessing about 30 degrees. And that, that looks to be a little low. And then uh, let's go up to 40 degrees and see. And that's, that's pretty close, but it's not quite there. Let's go to, go to 45 degrees, which is going to be right in the middle. You can use those tick marks. And we're going to match that up. And that, that looks pretty good right there. So that, that's going to be a 45 degree angle right there and you can you can use these these protractors to to reverse engineer or, or whatever you want to do on an angle the, again this is the center line radius is the outside matched with the inside of the tube so the actual center line radius of this of this tube is not going to be four inches it's going to be half of the od of this tube which is inch and three quarters so 0.875 plus the four inches. So this is going to be about a 4.875, which is it's probably a five inch center line radius of this tube right here. If you get within a, get within a quarter of an inch, you're going to be, you're going to be okay. We're going to measure another angle here real quick. Uh, just to show you another example. You've got, you've got this bend right here. So uh, again, we'll tighten these up a little bit. We're going to come out going to start at 55 or it's what is it at 50 start at a uh, 55 no that's too low I'm going to go ahead and go up to let's go to 70 70 degrees it's a uh, it's a little shy so we're going to come down a little bit let's go to 65 degrees Well, it's still a little low. I'm gonna go to 70. I say that was a little low. It's still a couple degrees. So now let's go to let's see 70. We did 65 and we did 70. So let's do the minus is on the right, the plus is on the left. So if we do 70 minus is that one? Let's do 70 minus two, which would be 68 degrees. And that's little yeah, actually that's perfect right there so that's going to be 68 65 or 70 minus 1 2 that's yeah it's, it's pretty close to 68 degrees right there so you'll be able to you'll be able to repeat that on your bender fairly easily and you can get a get an accurate bend accurate bend that way